course, there are a number of issues that are on the line tonight, both statewide and at the local level. Many of the issues deal with school funding, but the most closely watched, Amendment 64, that's the push to legalize marijuana. Colorado is one of three states with that issue on the ballot. Oregon and Washington voters also deciding ballot issues legalizing marijuana for personal use while creating tax and regulation systems. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon is at the Lodo Bar where supporters will be awaiting results. And Lindsay, Amendment 64 supporters think this measure actually has a shot this time around. They do, Mike, and we are out here at Castleman's Bar, and you can see not really anyone here yet, but they've got everything set up. I don't even know if you can hear the music on the loudspeaker um, behind me, but we're expecting several supporters of Amendment 64 to arrive within the next hour. The bar owner here telling me he expects 500 people here tonight, and I spoke to a campaign director with Yes on 64 earlier, and he told me he feels confident, citing a poll from public policy polling yesterday that says 52% of Colorado of order, voters support Amendment 64. Now, it's also commonly known as the campaign to regulate marijuana like alcohol. It makes it legal for adults 21 years and older to possess, grow, and use marijuana. It also makes it legal for licensed stores to cultivate, process, and sell it. Supporters say all the while it's going to still be regulated and taxed like alcohol. The key to all of this, if passed, a person who has up to one ounce of marijuana or six marijuana plants in their home would not be criminally punished. Opponents to this amendment say this directly goes against the federal government and leads to a, quote, legal state of confusion. Governor John Hickenlooper is one of many Colorado politicians against the ballot and says it sends the wrong message to kids that drugs are okay. Now, I'm told tonight if this passes, the governor has 30 days to sign the bill, which would then legalize personal use and possession of marijuana immediately. Then, in January of 2014, stores will start receiving licenses to grow and sell marijuana. Now, there are similar measures on the ballots in Oregon and Washington. I was actually just talking to a journalist who's with the podcast in Oregon, and she's out here just to see what happens here in Colorado. So not only local eyes on Amendment 64, but also nationally. In 2006, a similar measure was tried to be passed here in Colorado. However, it wasn't as comprehensive as Amendment 64 and did not pass. Of course, we're going to be out here all night long keeping our eye on this, seeing what happens. Live in Denver, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News. And stay with 7 News for continuing election coverage tonight. ABC News national coverage starts right after this newscast. And then coming up at 7, you will find us live on News Channel 24-7 and Rocky Mountain PBS.